Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 24th of November 1873, American inventor Joseph Glidden was awarded a patent for the modern version of barbed wire. Improved fencing systems were vital to the farmers who had headed west to settle in the Great Plains. The Homestead Act of 1862 allowed honest citizens to claim up to 160 acres if they built a home and worked the land for five years. The new settlers struggled to erect fences in an area where there were few trees to provide timber, and roaming cattle could push through smooth wire fences and trample crops. Various early versions of barbed wire had been tried before Joseph Glidden, a farmer from DeKalb, Illinois, developed a form of double-stranded wire that could be mass-produced to specifications that are virtually unchanged today. Improving on an earlier design by New York resident Michael Kelly, an inventor called Henry Rose had exhibited his fencing system of barbs mounted on a wooden rail at the DeKalb County Fair. Inspired by the idea that a barbed fence would keep livestock away from the fence and believing that barbs fixed to wire would be easier to both produce and install, Glidden set about making his own improvements. Glidden adapted a hand-operated coffee mill to create wound barbs that would then be threaded onto a strand of wire. A second strand would be laid alongside and both were then attached to a hook on the side of an old grinding wheel. Rotating the grindstone twisted the two wires together and held the barbs on the first wire in place. The new barbed wire had a dramatic effect. The expanse of the Great Plains began to be quickly fenced off, changing the lifestyles of the cattlemen whose herds grazed there and the Native Americans whose already dwindling territory was now being enclosed by the Devil's Rope. <laughs>